Tonight, investigators are on the hunt for more bombs and possible accomplices. This afternoon, FBI and ATF agents at the suspect's home, where multiple sources say they found a treasure trove of bomb-making materials. Also questioning his two roommates, though they're not under arrest. There was no completed devices in the house. Um, there was componentry and the homemade explosive um, material that we found in the house, and that's what we're most concerned about. Now, a portrait of the serial bomber is emerging. Two law enforcement officials identify him as 23-year-old Mark Condit. He lived in Pflugerville, was homeschooled, the oldest of four kids. Condit took classes at Austin Community College, though he never graduated. In a series of school blog posts, Condit wrote that he was not politically inclined. He'd worked as a computer repairman and had no criminal record. He was a kid, neighborhood kid. I always, always believed that he was very smart. And tonight, we're getting new details about the massive manhunt to track him down. NBC News has learned from multiple senior law enforcement officials that police identified the bomber's signature as foreign exotic batteries bought online from Asia. Investigators also use cell phone tower analysis of bombing scenes to narrow down potential suspects. Sunday night, Condit makes his first key mistake, seen here going into a FedEx store, wearing a blonde wig, mailing two bombs. That disguise helping give him away. It, it uh, kind of alerted uh, some witnesses uh, that this seemed like it wasn't right, uh, and some witnesses were able to identify uh, the vehicle that he was in. By Tuesday night, police zero in on Condit when he turns on his cell phone. Before tactical vehicles can arrive, Condit drives off and pulls into a ditch, where after 2 a.m., a SWAT team confronts him. The suspect detonated a bomb inside the vehicle. Authorities say he bought the materials for his six bombs that left two dead and four others seriously injured at a local Home Depot. I was very stunned. I, I, I really had no idea that it would be in my neighborhood. Diane Vale lives near Condon's parents and, like many here, had lived in fear for weeks. You say today you're breathing a sigh of relief? Absolutely. Investigators say the bomber used the alias Kelly Kilmore to mail those packages. Late today, his family released a statement writing they're devastated and we had no idea of the darkness Mark must have been in. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.